Welcome to this lesson. We're going to do a quick question on probability density function. This is a continuous random variable that has a probability density function defined by f, a function of x is equal to k, 5x minus x squared for x values between 0 and 5, and that function is 0 elsewhere, meaning it doesn't exist for values less than 0 and values greater than 5. And from that, here we know that k is a constant, because that, that question says so. Now we are supposed to determine the value of x, k is a constant, then the mean of x, it's also called the expectation of x, we find the mod of x, we also find probability that x has a value greater than or equal to 2. Let's see how to solve this one. And the solution goes as follows. We know that if we take the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of the function of x with respect to x, that is for all values of x where that function exists, that probability is equal to 1. Now, the lower limit is negative infinity. And in our case here, the lower limit is 0. So negative infinity is equal to 0 in this case. So we have 0. Positive infinity is the largest value for x where that function exists. And in this case, the upper boundary of x is 5. And our function of x is k into 5x minus x squared and we're integrating that with respect to x and we equate it to 1 because the total probability is always equal to 1 never greater than that never less than that now we are going to work this integral out between the limits of 0 and 5 what does it have to give us then we have to integrate we simply take k outside the constant it doesn't affect it we take 5 x power 1 add 1 we get 2 divided by that same 2 divided by 2 now we subtract x is raised to 2 you add 1 you get 3 divided by that 3 this is divided by 3 then you put the lower limit at the bottom here and the upper limit at the top there. We are supposed to equate this one to 1. If you integrate that and substitute first the value of x as 5, we get k into bracket 5 times x is 5 squared divided by 2 minus x is 5, it is cubed divided by 3. Then you subtract substitute the lower limit so k into bracket where x is you substitute 0 divided by 2 minus where x is we substitute 0 it's cubed divided by 3 we equate this one to 1 now when you work that one like like so you're going to get that uh, k into 5 times 5 times 5 is 125 divided by 2 minus 5 times 5 times 5 is 125 divided by 3. Now when you subtract after substitution, you get subtract 0 and you equate that one to 1. So you work this one out by itself. You're going to get k into 125 divided by 2 minus 125 divided by 3. This one is equated to 1. Now I want to leave this simple algebra to you so that you work it out. But make sure after you have worked it out, k is equal to 1 divided by, um, let me check here, 1 divided by, no, 6 divided by 625, I think so. 6 divided by 125. When you work it out, I leave this part to you now when you look at the question you're supposed to get the mean of x for part b you're supposed to get the mean of x 
mean of x. This is given by new function of x, which is equal to expectation. At times it is called expectation. So get the mu is equal to the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of x times the function of x integrated with respect to x. So we are going to have integral from negative infinity is 0, positive infinity is 5, multiply that by x, times the function of x is 6 over 125, then we have function of x now is uh, x, 5x minus x squared dx. So this gives us, if you take that constant outside the integral, 125, integral from 0 to 5 of x into 5x minus x squared with respect to x. Now this gives us 6 over 125, 6 over 125, integral from 0 to 5 of 5x squared minus x cube and this with respect to x. Work it out, you will get 6 over 125 into, integrate that to get 5x cubed divided by 3 minus x power 4 divided by 4, substitute lower limit 0, upper limit 5. So here we are, we are having 6 out of 125 into bracket 5 times 5 cube divided by 3 minus 5 power 4 divided by 4. We have substituted 5. That's the lower the upper limit. Substitute now the lower limit, 6 out of 125 into 5 times 0 cube divided by 3 minus 0 power 4 divided by 4. If you work that one out, you will finally get the value of the mean. Now, I'm not going to do this simple algebra here. I'm going to leave it to you as an exercise so that when you work it out, you will end up with 5 over 2 as the expectation of x or the mean of x. Now, we look at part C. We are supposed to look for the mod. And I want to explain what the mod is. The mod is the x value of the function when that function has reached a maximum. So if you have a curve like this one here, that is not the same curve we are talking about. I'm explaining here. So at this point, that curve reaches a maximum. The point exactly below that maximum point, the value of x at that point is what we call the mod. So what we're supposed to do, we know that at a maximum point, the gradient function is equal to zero. So we are basically going to take that function, we differentiate it, we equate it to zero. Our function of x is equal to six out of 125, six out of 125 times five x minus x squared. Differentiate it so that we get the derivative of the function of x as 6 out of 125 into 5 minus 2x. And we are supposed to equate that one to 0 because at that point the gradient function is 0 because it's a turning point. Now we have 6 out of 125 into 5 minus 2x is equal to 0. Simple algebra again, we get 5 minus 25 is equal to minus 2x is equal to zero. What we have done here is we have multiplied both sides by the reciprocal of six out of 125. So when you work it out, you get that mod is five halves. Now we're left with one more question to do. That's part D. So we do it as part D. We're supposed to get the probability that X takes a value greater than or equal to two. So we take the integral from 2 to 5 because now the minimum value is 2 not 0 and the maximum value here is 5 so we take the integral of the function of x with respect to x 
then we get that probability. So we have probability that x is greater than or equal to 2 is equal to the integral from 2 to 5 of 6 out of 125 into 5x minus x squared with respect to x. Work to that one out, you get the constant is taken outside of that integral into 5x squared divided by 2 minus x cubed divided by 3. We substitute 2 and 5. You work that one out in the same way we have been substituting those boundaries and you will observe that that probability that x is greater than or equal to 2 is equal to 0 0.648 0 0.648 that's how we work that question out i want us to stop there and go through this once more i'm going to upload a few more examples of probability density function questions and we will add a few more other things into that for now let us stop there and meet in the next lesson thank you very much for watching